I've been guilty of this myself, but it took some time to understand that putting time and love into your craft, that can be fulfilling. Skipping meals, not eating and stressing out just for the sake of productivity, that can be toxic. Welcome or welcome back to Therapy Explained. My name is Anise Cantor. I'm the therapist of color for people of color and your very own mental health cheerleader. I post videos about all things mental health because I believe that mental health information should be free and accessible to everyone. If you agree and would like to help spread the word, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Every video also comes with its own cheat sheet that I make available to you on Instagram. So make sure that you're subscribed to me there or that you're following me there um, at Talk Therapy so that you can have access to yours. Today's video is about how hustle culture can actually be toxic and detrimental to our mental health and a little bit about what you can do to help manage some of the burnout. So let's just go ahead and talk about it. Number one, hustle culture not only normalizes but almost glorifies feeling burnt out. It tells us that if we are tired, if we're hungry, if we're exhausted both physically and mentally, if we don't have any friends and all we ever do is work, that's good. <laughs> this is how it's supposed to be and this is what success feels like. This sends the wrong message to us. It lets us know that we need to, in order to be successful, we need to completely let go of our basic needs and not take care of ourselves in order to be productive. Number two, it reinforces the idea that no matter what you do, it's not enough. Again, it paints the idea that feeling burnt out and tired is success and that there's always more to be done and you should be doing it if you have the time to. This can activate wounds for us if we're a parentified child or if we're dealing with our anxiety and we have a need to please others and to make others proud of us by being productive. It continues to reinforce the idea that our level of productivity is connected to our value as people. Number three, it encourages us to dismiss our basic needs like sleeping and eating. Again, because our focus is on being the most productive that we can possibly be, this means that we need to skip meals, not sleep, not rest, and not take care of ourselves and our body. This can be detrimental to our mental health because as human beings, we require all of these things. We need to rest, we need to eat, and we also need to take care of our bodies. Number four, it is detrimental to our relationships. Again, hustle culture tells us that our productivity needs to be our main focus and therefore there is no time for friends and family. We end up feeling even more and more isolated as our job becomes our only focus and only reason for living. If our only goal is to make the most money, to do the most, to be the most productive, then we lose sight of everything else that is around us. Remember that as human beings, we require a lot of love and tending to, just like any other living creature does. We need food, we need rest, and we also need a sense of community and connection to the people around us. So how do we manage it? How can we disengage from hustle culture and create a more balanced life for ourselves? Well, it starts by trying to undo all of these points and reframing this for ourselves. Understanding that being burnt out does not equal success. We can complete what we want to complete and do it well without necessarily having to work all the time for it. Learning to prioritize our emotional, physical needs are also going to be important. Reconnecting with friends and making sure that we are putting a high value to that as well as sleeping and eating. Learning to establish boundaries for ourselves around that will also be helpful. Now I have a whole video on how to manage burnout so make sure that you go ahead and check out that video. But again, reiterating that you are a human being and disconnecting your value as a person and even as a boss, entrepreneur or worker or employee from your level of productivity. 
it's okay to want to accomplish more, to learn more, to grow more, and to receive promotions based on your work. But that doesn't mean that you have to burn yourself out for it. It is always okay to ask for help, to say no, and to take care of yourself. Ultimately, the more that we can take care of ourselves, the more that we can actually be present for the people around us. I hope that you found this video useful or helpful. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Your cheat sheet is already available to you on Instagram, so hop on over there to get access to it. But before you do, please give this video some love in any way that feels authentic to you. Every like, comment, share, and subscription helps spread the word about free mental health information and education. And of course, remember, I'm always cheering for you.